it would seem the player base is sick and tired of King's Isle's crap. Hello everybody, it's Liam here, welcome to today's video on the channel, and in today's video we'll be talking about the excessive amount of players that have been actually quitting uh, the game. Now, obviously I don't work at King's Isle, I don't have data, however, what I can see is YouTube, I can see Discord, I can see Twitter, I can see media, and I'm seeing players drop like flies all around. Now, if you've been on Wiz Twitter, I'd say for the past like three days, so many people have just stopped playing. Okay. Now, I could throw some tweets on screen right now. I, I probably will throw up a couple just to show you guys what I mean. But, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty bad. And I thought I would talk about a lot of the reasons why these players are quitting and even as myself you know i'm not really playing the game i don't really stream pvp anymore because yeah how toxic the sniping is right now and how just unfun the meta is personally you know but this is not just a pvp video this is going to be talking about literally every part of the community and uh you know hopefully a dev sees this or somebody at king's Isle, and hopefully we can you know get the ball rolling and you just just start to make the community a bit healthier, a bit safer, and obviously make the game the game a better place. Now I'm gonna keep it a buck with y'all. This video is probably gonna be a bit more negative than my usual stuff here on the content. But at the same time, man, like I cannot sit here and act like everything is you know sunshines and rainbows or whatever the saying is. You know, if you want to see things do better, you have to get down to the you know, the dirty details of it. And uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get right into this video. First thing I want to talk about on why players are quitting is going to be the overwhelming amount of toxicity. Now, what I'm talking about when I say overwhelming amount of toxicity is both PvE and PvE and raids, mind you, every form of content, right? PvP is exceptionally toxic. But even in the PvE player base, you know, uh, you have a lot of people that are just, you know, like, hey, can you help me farm this? Or they team up and it, people just freak out and go off on them. I've seen so many examples of this where somebody is just a bit newer to team up, just wants some help with a quest or something or farming. And then somebody just just freaking rips into them and like, carries them a new one, you know, bro? It's like, it's really messed up. You know, man, and it, it's really unfortunate to see that people just get that toxic and that triggered over Wiz farming, you know? Like, I can understand both ends of the spectrum, but there's no reason to really escalate things that much, you know? And another part of toxicity in Wiz is just simply, um, I don't know how to put this without sounding like uh, a surgeon somebody, but... Uh, your status in the game, I guess, is one way to put it, you know? Uh, for example, if you are a female creator on Wiz, again, I'm not going to name any names because we know what happens when we do that, but um, if you're a female creator on Wiz, you get harassed so much. Now, I'm not going to sit here and lie to y'all. You guys know I never do that here on the channel. I always keep it real with y'all. But um, I deal with a lot of shit as a male creator that does PvP, and... Even I can admit that some of the stuff that these female creators have to, you know, go through is just absolutely terrible and way worse than the stuff I have to deal with, you know? So there's a huge problem there on that end of the community where these female creators or just females in general, not even just creators on the game, uh, even as in the, you know, the gaming scene in general, but especially on a whiz, man, like there's a lot of weirdos, there's a lot of weird crap i've seen people get doxxed and threatened and like a bunch of other stuff just because like they're female on was on the internet so i think that's really stupid you know again i, I think this really boils down to king Saul's policy with toxicity not really enforcing it that well and if you're like a creator like you know myself or awesome the sauce that you know streams pvp a lot is pretty active with you know youtube uploads Right? People will project their frustrations onto the game on you. So like, what I, what I mean by that is they, they will not like you, and then they will snipe you 
because they blame you for stuff in the game just to make themselves feel better, which I know is extremely weird. And I, if you asked me last year, I would have never said something like this, but this community, especially the PvP community, is extremely weird. When you're a high rank PvP player in a Wizard 101, your actual play has very little to do with if you rank up or not. When you're 1900 plus, all that matters is that you do not get set for or Q sniped. That that is literally all that matters, you know. Uh, my first time when I went for Warlord in the Betrayal meta, I brought this up a couple times on the channel, but um, I was literally being stalked 24 hours a day. So I queued up, right? I would I would queue up at like noon. And then the next day, I'd queue up at like 8 in the morning. Then the next day at like the afternoon, like 3 p.m., right? And what these people would do is they would keep track of where I would queue like the last day. So, for example, I queued in the morning and I knew they were stalking me. So I was like, okay, they'll probably think I'm going to change it up tomorrow because I've been doing that for three days. So I queued again in the morning the next day. And what do you know? It's 140 resist life jade, you know? So... Yeah, and then I've had like people literally flee for four hours in the arena trying to get me. I, I literally went out, went to my aunties, went grocery shopping, socialized, you know, had a good time outside, came back for four hours, and this guy was still fleeing, trying to get me with 120 storm resist on a myth. So, you know, sniping is a big problem, uh, her verbal harassment as well in game is a huge problem, you know whether it's male, female, PvP, or not. This is a huge issue that King Cell really needs to take the extra step on, and um, I think a lot of people would like to see that. Next thing I want to talk about is King Cell themselves as a company. They've been making a lot of questionable choices lately. You know, if you've seen my recent videos here on the channel about, you know, King Cell and stuff like that, I'm very critical of them. Uh, I do want to see them do better, and I want to see the game do better. Keep that in mind. But, uh... Lately, man, I don't know, they're just not making the best choices, you know, like over on Twitter, we had that situation where, um, you know, people literally had to mail them money, like it was the 1800s, you know, if you saw that video a couple days ago, you know what I'm talking about here on the channel, but um, people are just very unhappy with her how they're handling certain situations, you know, especially on Twitter, bro, is like the way they deliver or try to like, you know, backpedal something or downplay it it's just never really handled that great over on the whiz twitter unfortunately and a lot of people just are just sick and tired of it man you know i just it's really really unfortunate to see that um there's just hardly any growth coming from king Zao's end essentially you know guys next thing i want to talk about is pvp now i've made a video pretty much every week talking about how bad pvp is um basically right now there's hardly any school identity you know storm literally lost its entire identity just like how myth lost its entire minion identity you know school identity is just nowhere to be seen every school does the same damage right now it's it's just really boring really stale you can't do anything creative unless you want to be a really toxic or b stay at the lowest rank in the game so the meta is like you know it's decently balanced it's, it's okay but the game isn't fun the game doesn't make any sense every school does the same damage and you just see stupid crap in the arena like people with like 183 damage and then like 70 resist and 50 pierce and then you have like storm and fire with like 50 peers, that damage, 20 less resist, and like 3k less health, you know? So, stat balance is a pretty big problem and max, and the game just doesn't really make sense, and that's really driven a lot of players away from the game, the fact that things just don't make sense, and a lot of people that main the damage schools, which are, you know, like Storm, Death Now, Fire and Myth arguably as well, just damage doesn't feel special anymore when, you know, a caterpillar, a life caddy is doing 4k, you know? Uh, things just don't make sense anymore. Uh, healing is pretty broken right now in the meta. Resist is pretty broken right now in the meta, you know? So, I don't know, man. I just seen a lot of people quit PvP. 
this past year, uh, even in the last couple of months, and I know myself personally, I am not doing PvP. I streamed once this week, my gut told me not to, and I got sniped for two hours. So, yeah, uh, just not good looks for PvP. They really gotta crack down on toxicity and just update the game for to actually make people want to play the game and have it make sense would be nice. Next up, I want to talk about raids and how inaccessible they are. Now, ever since the dawn of time when raids came out, I made like four videos talking about this. Uh, as you guys know, I've been probably the most vocal about how inaccessible raids are here on the channel. But um, I feel like a lot of the, pe the people that want to raid or, you know, the casuals, they just feel like their voice isn't heard, you know? And I got a comment on a recent video saying... That, you know, they really want to raid, and this guy, like, talked to Rapier or some shit, then, like, Rapier just gave him attitude and, like, sausage chat or something, like, I, I don't know. But, like, it's just kind of sad to see, bro, because like, you generally have all these casual players that want to raid, or, like, they'll, they'll set some time to raid, but it, the barrier to entry and, like, the bar is set so high that these people just, with respect, they just don't stand a chance to even get in there in the first place, you know, man? And like I have like you know I've done everything I can as a creator. I've made so many videos talking about how inaccessible they are. I made so many videos talking about like tutorials for the raid itself, which you know all those videos did great. Thank you guys for that. Um, but it's just really sad to see that King Saul's not again showing any growth or taking any direction with these player complaints. Like oh raids are inaccessible. What do we do? Not saying anything, but roast our players saying that their win rates are too low on twitter you know uh if you know you know but yeah man it's just again really unfortunate not to see growth from king's all uh i am looking forward to the next raid if you want some info on the next raid i suggest checking out yesterday's video on the channel here then the last thing i want to talk about is pet making now guys i don't know about you but i've i have a lot of pets on ways Okay, I have about two pages of, like, ultra pets, like, really perfect, like, clean pets for every single school, like, all seven schools, okay? So, I think it's fair to say, you know, I've been around the block, you know, when it comes to pet making, right? And, um, I think this is a serious problem in the community, you know? With the hundreds of pets I have made, I seriously think this pet system needs an overhaul, and I seriously think we need more free to way plays ways to get energy elixirs hatching elixirs p9s stuff like that you know the battle pass for pvp is pretty good with that stuff i do appreciate that but i'm talking like you know we need more ways than just pvp you know to get this stuff and it's extremely pricey bro like i think on stream i made a pet and six hundred thousand gold it took me to get the pet back that i wanted keep in mind like literally couldn't train the pet had to hat had to hatch didn't get the pet i wanted had to hatch again didn't get the pet i wanted had to hatch again didn't get the pet i wanted for six hundred thousand gold and i was i think seven or eight dollars in before i even got the pet backed the, the pet back that i wanted to train up before i could even start using my energy and the hatching elixirs i didn't even get to that part until i already put seven bucks in you know so I think the complaint here is just players not liking this old dated system and not being very consumer friendly and it, it's just like you can't make pets quick enough man you know and I don't know man that's just what I think uh, if I missed any points in the, this video let me know in the comments below guys um again I don't really like to be negative in this video, but uh, this is serious problems that King Sol needs to get better at addressing. And they gotta come up with some better and quicker solutions with the stuff, man. And I really hope that, uh, you know, they can start doing better as a company. Um, I know the devs are a lot of good people as well. Like, you know, Rapiard, Artie, you know, Cam, Starbringer, all, you know, great people have, you know, taught me a lot. And, um... You know, I really do think that, you know, if creators and the community and devs work together, we we can really shape Wiz into something better for all players, you know, whether it's the elite players, the
casual players, which is like 90% of the audience. And, you know, m- maybe Timmy that uh, only gets to play every other weekend. So I don't know, guys. I just really hope this video uh, strikes a nerve over there at King's Isle. And I don't know. I just, I really thought I had to make this video because I'm feeling this way as a player. I'm not playing as much. I just recently got Grandmaster on Overwatch. Um, had a great time playing that ranking system as well. I actually got I got put at the rank where I should have been because I actually grinded for that and I don't have to worry about getting stalked in that game, you know? So, yeah, man. I will see you guys on the next video. If you made it this far, leave a like and sub. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you for watching this far. And as always, take care, y'all.